rubble and debris pile in the streets bustling with people in Gaza's densely populated Nusayrat refugee camp. Israeli jets have destroyed many buildings here and bombarded many homes. This is despite Israel telling many Palestinians to move here from the north for their safety. The camp is south of the central Wadi area. Habir and her family were in their home when Israel bombarded the entire area. It's a strategy that Israel has been using to wipe out entire neighborhoods during this war. Javier says the building opposite to their home, housing shops and offices, is what was targeted. But regardless of the civilian homes in the neighborhood, Israel bombed it all with no prior notice. My memories, my home is all my memories. I would never let it go. I lived for 23 years here. I will stay in it even if only a small part of it remains, even if it's not safe after the ceasefire ends. I shall remain patient in my home. As the days of the ceasefire come to an end, the people at Nusayrat refugee camp fill the streets trying to enjoy some respite and safety after nearly two months of Israeli bombardment. People here say they've spent most of the ceasefire on the streets trying to secure some food and supplies for their families before Israel's attacks resume. But the soaring prices and shortage of basic supplies have had their toll on the people too. The prices are soaring because of a lack of supplies. Everything is expensive to buy. This has never happened in our lives before. I just hope that after all this suffering that we've endured, our children will live better and happier lives. The people of Gaza don't know what to expect after the ceasefire ends. But for now, they say they want to live fully and enjoy every moment of each day. Yumna Sayyid, Al Jazeera, Nusayrat in the central Gaza Strip. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.